I like to think of diet as a means of diversifying as much of the input stuff that you can give your critters. And we know from humans that the most diverse that you get, the better off you are. Like we can live off meat, we can live off fish and chips, there's a bunch of food types we can live off, but the better off we are is if we eat a whole range of food. Obviously carbohydrates, woo! But we need all the vegetables and the minerals type stuff as well. The fruit stuff, yeah? Let's think of seed as an egg. Let's think of it as having everything to do with life. A little package, just like an egg. We just add warmth, we add moisture, and we give it light and it grows. And in growing it changes its structure. Enzymes take effect and all sorts of things happen inside the seed. It uses up its resources, yeah? So, it's going to have different nutritional values as it grows in life. Same as we do, as we get old and we aren't as yummy as what we are when we're tender and youthful. Whatever. The point is, a normal seed diet would consist of, or hard seed package, would have about half a dozen different seeds. And if each one of them represents, gloves are good. If each one of them represents a part of the nutritional spectrum, then there's gonna be overlap and there's gonna be void. What pellets do is actually extend the diversity in the diet. That's all. There's still a seed based mixture. The more organic you get, the less preservatives that we create. Our pellets are okay. They're just extending the diet, diversifying it. Make sure you get good ones and the birds will let you know. So not in any way am I saying pellets are the only thing you should feed your bird. You should feed it seed as well, and sprout of seed, and fruit and vegetables, and a bunch of different nuts. And then think about drinks. We've had a lot of success, I believe, or a lot of non-failure illness, with the use of apple cider vinegar into their water, a separate water bowl that they can sip a few times a week. Very dilute. Make sense? Cool.